my opinion, if you do understand intensities, you really have answers to all the questions related to planning, because by the end of the day, what we need to do, we need to come out with meaningful and effective training sets, which will make positive changes. But you apply stress factor at a level of individual threshold at any given time. And now think about that, that which, how many thresholds do we have? Well, as many as energy systems, because each energy system will have its own threshold. And meaning that when we design training set, regardless whether it's aerobic and anaerobic, it still needs to qualify for specific conditions. It needs, still needs to be designed at the level of a threshold of individual at this particular time, at the level of current preparedness level. We calculate progression of speed from where we are today to where we need to be. And so in this particular case, I created an example of a male born in 97, 203, previous best season time 155, goal 150, beginning intensity of 95% from 155, and this is week 7 in his season. And that's how much information you need to have in order to make sense of intensities, because you really need to, to, to attach it somewhere, and, you need to, uh, and it needs to be personal and individual. You remember, you want to be a threshold of his adaptation ability at any given time. You have a calculated, full-out, 100% effort, and then you have a training set you can convert into a test set, and after executing a test set, now you, ha you can compare where your athlete is in relation to where he needs to be in each week of his progression.